Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's part of our ongoing must do series, we will be attempting largest number formed from an array. Okay, and this is the question. Given a list of non-negative integers, arrange them in such a manner that they form the largest number possible. The result is going to be very large, hence return the result in the form of a string. Okay, uh, we have an example, a very beautiful example, and we will be using this to formulate a solution. But in order to explain this question, let me just draw up a small example for you. Okay, so let's say we have an array of size 2. It has only two elements, 38 and 3. And as per the question, your answer that you should that you should return should be 383. Right. Uh, we have two elements and we have to arrange them in such a manner that when you, you know, sort of just convert them into string and you append them, you get the largest number possible. And in this case, it will be 383. Uh, as of now, there are only, you know, two permutations possible. That will be 383 and, uh, you know, th uh, 30, uh, 383. And uh, you put 3 before it and then 38, then it will become 338. So in this case, we know that 383 is bigger. So that will be answered. Right. Um, so this is basically the question. This is what they're asking. Now, the first thing that might come to your mind is, okay, it's very simple. How about we simply just sort this array in the descending order and that way we will always get the largest possible number. I mean, yeah, sure, it might work in some case. Like you can see it is working in this case as of now. You are just sorting it in the descending order and that is the largest number you get, right? But what if, let's say, if the elements were something like this, the, ar the elements were 30 and 3. If this was the case and you would have sorted in the descending order again uh, this this uh, the array would have been in this manner and your answer that you would have printed would have been 303 but no the actual answer in this case is 330 right you can see that uh if you put it in this manner like first three and then 30 that will give you the largest number possible right so now this is the part where the question gets a bit tricky how exactly are you going to approach this question Right. So, if you want, you can, you know, stop this video and solve this yourself. I have given the problem description, sorry, the link to practice in the description box below. You can try it there. So, yeah. And now let's start to formulate a solution for this. Okay. So, again, I, I am going to start with only two elements. I'm going to start with two, uh, two elements. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of... Uh, come up with the solution that might work after that we'll try it on that uh, this solution this example that we have here right so how about i instead of taking a numbers i just take two variables right so we have two variables a b since we have already seen from the cases of 38 3 and 33 that sorting doesn't work you can't simply compare a and b and formulate a logic so what we will do is we will now start comparing a and b after after appending them one after another what i mean by that is you have two elements a and b right what are the two possibilities here you know how can you append them either it can be a b either it can be b a right so what my logic says is if a b is greater than b a then your answer should be a b if i mean i know you, you you were thinking that yeah we know that right but this is what we'll be using to formulate a logic if ba is greater than ab then you return ba as long as you know this you have solved this answer what i mean by that is what let's say you have an uh, you have an array of five elements a b c d e so we will be sorting this array we will definitely be sorting this array but not on the basis of the comparators not on on the basis of this thing we will be solving them on the basis of this logic right what i mean by that is let, let, let's say i ask you to sort an array right you sort your array on the basis of these comparators if i sort if i ask you that sort the array in ascending order you say okay i'll use this if i ask you to sort the array in descending order you said okay i'll use this but now we have sort of changed the logic. Now we won't be using the normal comparators. We will be using the custom comparator. And uh, I mean, what is basically this, right? This is again the same logic, right? You say if A is greater than B, then return A. If B is greater than A, then return B, right? So why can't I just simply simply create my custom op my my custom comparator? I I, I am using I'm I would be creating a function maybe let's say comp and that. 
and that function will be simply taking let's say two two uh, strings and you know it will be telling me in which order should i put this number if a b is greater than b a then the number uh, then the then the order in which i should put those numbers should be a and b right if b a is greater than a b then the then the order in which i should put those numbers is b a right it is as simple as that we will be sorting let's say you are sorting this array but instead of using your uh, average uh, comparators you are creating a custom comparator and what does your custom comparator do it kill it compares those number after you know uh after appending them both one after another so yeah how about we try this logic on the example that we have here and let's see if it even works or not right so let's go there okay so this is example 33 34 59 and this is basically the custom comparator that we have created right so how about i mean as of now we can use any sort of uh, you know sorting technique for now let's just go with the flow okay so how about this can be our i this can be our j and we just start with a comparison okay so this is basically going to be a comparison and whichever you know uh, follows this we'll be switching that accordingly right so we compare uh, you know we have 303 and we have 330 right so whichever one is greater that will be taking the place of the first one so this becomes 3 and this becomes 30 right now we compare 3 with 34 so the the, the basically the option becomes 3 3 4 and 3 4 3 right so this way it will become we have to swap the places right because 343 is greater than 334 so here we will have 34 and here we will have 3 after that you compare 34 with 5 so which is greater 345 or 543 clearly 543 is greater so this will become 34 and this will become your 5 right after that you come here 5 with 9 whichever which is greater 59 or 95 definitely 95 so 5 comes here and yeah 9 comes here so after one iteration what array do we have we have 9 30 3 34 and 5 okay and now we have a fixed position we let me just sorry let me just draw it up quick so 9 uh, the first position is fixed 9 then we have 30 we have 3 we have 34 and then we have 5 now let's move to the next iteration right so for the next iteration again we'll start comparison 30 with 3 so it will become either 303 either 330 i believe we are sort of having a deja vu again it'll become um 3 and this will become 30 right uh, 3 will be compared with this uh, again it will become 3 it will become 34 again it will be compared it will become 34 it will become 5 right so after the second iteration what is going to be array 9 5 then you have 30 you have 3 and then you have 34 right the, uh, now let's move to the next iteration so 9 and 5 are fixed again we start this you know we have 303 and 330 this will become 3 and this will become 30 again this will become 3 and this will become 34 right so after the uh, third iteration this will be our array 9 5 34 and 30 and 3 so now we are in the last iteration basically this will become 3 and this will become 30 so this is going to be our answer what should we be printing we will printing 9 5 3 4 3 and 3 0 so this should be the answer that our function should, will be returning and let's let's see if this is the same or not so yep nine five three four three three zero. 334 that is the same answer that we have nine four three four three three zero. wait a second nine five three four three three zero nine five three four three yeah my bad sorry so yeah this is the answer that we will be printing now remember what have we done different here we are sorting again we are sorting in a descending order but now the meaning of descending has changed a bit now we are not simply saying that okay if a is greater than b then the order that in which we should be you know the descending order should be a b no 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 that is what have changed here we are again printing it in a descending order but now 
it has become like if a b is greater than b a then the order in which we should be putting the elements should be a b right this is the only thing that we have changed so here we have learned how to create a custom comparator and using this will be you know sort of uh, working on our sorting so by the way what, what what is the complexity of this comparator it is again order one right it is not taking any time complexity so how about you put your best sorting technique out there that we have which will be n of log n and then when you are comparing two elements instead of directly comparing them you simply call this function you know you call this function comp uh, with let's say comp a comma b and that will return you the answer this the time complexity of this comparator function is order of one so again your worst case time complexity for your sorting will remain order of n log n and voila that there we have it this question is basically array at its best you know we by the way let me tell you something we have a solution for this with an time complexity of order of n but that will you know utilize um, hash maps but i don't want to do that because this is the array series right i want to focus you how you can achieve questions how you can solve questions such as this but only using arrays we are only using sort is uh, sorting but we have learned something new here. We have learned how to create a custom comparator, right? So now let's move to the coding part and you know see how we are how we can do that. So here we won't really be writing the complete sorting algorithm. I mean it's it's going to be pretty long, that's why I'm avoiding it. But you know, if you're sitting in an interview, you can simply ask your interviewer that uh can I simply use an inbuilt function? And if you have explained uh, your comparator function, if you have uh, explained what you're doing different from a traditional sorting logic, I am pretty sure that he'll definitely give you a green light so yep let's start with that every language have their own inbuilt sorting uh, method that give you a time complexity of n login so opt for it if you can use it right don't make silly mistakes so yeah let's create a function def comp it takes two elements a comma b a b will be a plus b and uh, for all those different language users this is sort of you know converting it into a string and then uh adding it up but uh, in python we have a lot of leeway so yeah that is why uh, it's, it's a really good language for you know fast coding so if um let's say b a is greater than a b you return uh you return basically one returning one means that you are supposed to change the order i mean uh this is how your comparator in python works if you are returning one then it says that okay change the order in which you have provided me the elements if i provided a b and you return it one it will set the order of the array as b okay otherwise return minus one that is all and yeah now let's so let's call the sort function a dot sort here we have it and then you pass your key as func sorry func tools uh dot cmp uh it, it's really a bit more confusing in python and uh c plus plus it's it's really simple you just have to call vector dot sort and you have your three parameters your array your size of array and your custom comparator if you have one so yeah that is one thing i don't like here but doesn't matter it has its own prawns so yep this is your answer your answer is going to be uh you need to convert this array into a string right so this is how you do it in python in uh, string dot join and your array and then you return your answer now let's see if it works or not compile and run your output expected output it matches now let's try to submit this and see if all cases works or not voila we have seen that all the risk issues have passed so yeah this was the solution for the largest number form from an array a medium question look at the four points so yep uh, by the way if i have helped if this question has helped you in any way and if you have opened your mind sort of arrays and you know you enjoyed this then definitely like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching my channel bye, -bye.